Hey guys, today we are in Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania, and we're in front of the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe. This place is known for their sweet items, but we saw they have a light menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've never tried anything off of it. So we're gonna head in there and get something and take you guys with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's check the hours here at the Bird in Hand Bakery, Cafe, and Ice Cream. Ice Cream window is open Monday through Thursday, 12 to 5. Friday and Saturday, 12 to 7. There's your main sign out by the road. You can pick up some ice cream at this window. Our own handcrafted artisan ice cream made on the premises. Local ingredients, premium quality. Prices. Ice cream sample. Let me go at this angle, see it better. Milkshakes, $5.29. Old time soda float. Specialty Sundays, the big whoop, whoopie pie. That doesn't sound too bad. The Hungry Dutchman. Build your own Sunday. Toppings, extra 50 cents. There's your choices. You can just come up to this window and get that. Now let's take a look and see what time the bakery and cafe are open. Have an ATM if you run out of money. Here are the hours. Bakery and cafe are open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. because they serve breakfast. Have a pumpkin patch around the building here, but look at all the pumpkin pie and whoopie pies and pumpkin bread. <laughs> Man. I'll we'll have to try probably the pie. Maybe. Too many choices. Mm. I love pumpkins. Anytime I see pumpkins, I tell John I need a new one. You do. For decorations, and I have tons of them. We have pumpkins all over the house, guys. During the fall season. Yeah. Not right now. But back there, Bobby, when I went back to look at that corn maze a little bit ago, there are pumpkins growing back there. But look at these flowers, guys. We were talking earlier how all over this county they have such beautiful flowers everywhere. All right, so you can sit out here, a lot of spots. Sitting at the wraparound porch. Yeah, look at this. Quick peek at the outside porch at a better angle. Come out here. Sit by the road if you want to, or just sit right over here by the ice cream window. Directly across the street is the Bird in Hand Farmer's Market. It's open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 to 5.30. Where do you think would be the best place to sit at? I would like to sit right there at that table to look at the beautiful flowers. But it depends on how hot that sun is. We might have to go on the wraparound porch. Maybe. So this is the view. That's a nice view to eat to, isn't it? Facing that, let's head in and see what they have. Well, as soon as we walk in, have some fresh baked breads. Iced cinnamon raisin bread, wheat dinner rolls, and it looks like they have a little store set up in here. It's one of my favorites, Whoopie Pie. Some candles. Stuffed animals. Crispy Rice crispy Treats. There's a kit that makes s'mores. That's cute. How much is that? $5.50. Look at these lollipops. There's one, looks like corn. Have some peaches, apples. Some cannolis, pecan pie, coconut. Some cream pies. There's the prices on those. Banana, and you can get the bigger ones right below. Peanut butter, chocolate. They all look good. 
molten chocolate cake. There's an apple pie down in there. Cream puffs for $3.25. And peach pies. Those are prices. Different sizes on those. And some cookies. Peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, and snickerdoodles. And my favorite, the shoe fly pie. There are your prices. There's a little tiny individual size one there. They also have samples over here if you're not sure if you like shoe fly pie. Try a piece before try. you buy a pie. Yeah, that's nice they did that. And over here is the bargain corner. I see a bunch of whoopie pies in here. Some cupcakes. Reduced down to $1.90. Bird in hand, apple butter, and some different jellies and jams and relish. And dressings. And you're up in Amish country, there's always plenty of Amish popcorn available. Red velvet cupcakes, buttercream, whoopie pies directly behind here. How much they cost. And they have this cold section around the corner here and take some things home with you. Ice cream at the bottom because they make their own ice cream here. A small section of gluten-free baked goods in here. There's a vegan brownie and baked oatmeal gluten-free and cupcakes. These cakes are $20. If you want to go up to the second floor where there's more seating, there is an elevator. You don't have to take the stairs. Maybe we'll go up to the second floor and check out the seating up there. We haven't been up there yet. Local popcorn. And here's a whole kit to make cookies with for $14. Oatmeal raisin cookies on that one. We are upstairs. It looks like there's a handmade quilt store in here. Back in through here. Bobby's in here looking around. A lot of stuff. And here's your seating area upstairs. If you don't want to sit outside. And we just noticed this being upstairs on the second floor. You can sit out here. There's an abundance of seating. You can come over here and sit around all these flowers. Well, pretty nice view from up here, looking around, watching the cars go by. Let's take a look at the donuts before they run out. It's about 10 o'clock in here. Here's some cookies, caramel sundae donuts, cherry danishes, muffins. The apple fritters are already gone cream filled, there's a long john, some barbarian, coconut, and mini apple fritters. Freshly made ice cream. And the one in the back there is shoe fly pie. Death by chocolate. Peanut butter, cherry vanilla, monster cookie dough. There's some whoopie pie, fudge swirl. I might be calling my name later. Black raspberry, butter pecan, and chocolate and vanilla. And you have a choice of what kind of cone you want your ice cream in. There's the special today, buffalo chicken wrap. Some bagels, soft pretzels, and soup of the day, broccoli and cheese or beef noodle. Quick look at the menu starting off with breakfast. They have fresh Belgium waffles, toasted bagels, yogurt parfait, and they have a breakfast burrito for $7.95, a farmer build-your-own sandwich, and they serve cage-free farm-fresh eggs from a half mile down the road. Now for some lunch and dinner items. Salads, cranberry walnut, but look at this, stuffed tomato. It's stuffed with chicken salad. Bobby almost got that. Hot sandwiches, cheddar bacon grilled cheese. That's what Bobby's going to get along with some soup. And how I wanted to try this fried bologna sandwich for $8.95, but I went with what they told me to get, the Southwest chicken. And they also have some pulled pork. 
soups and sides. You can get a cup of soup and half of a salad for $9.95. Their sides are house-made slaw, applesauce, BLT, a few different wraps, veggie hummus wrap. And Bobby got the half sandwich and soup for $8.95. And the drink menu. Cold drinks, a fountain drink is $2.79, free refills. Have some coffee, cappuccinos, frozen drinks, specialty drinks featuring pumpkin pie latte. Kids menu is $4.95 for 12 and under. And fresh pickles. Oh, here's the prices of the donuts and everything else that's in there. Bobby picked up the cheddar bacon grilled cheese combo with broccoli and cheese soup. On her grilled cheese is the local Stolfus bacon, hope I said that right. The bird in hand apple butter spread, cheddar, and a multi-grain bread. And here's mine, the Southwest chicken. We were told to get this, this is the most popular item. Has red onions, tomato, pepper jack, Chipotle mayonnaise on sourdough bread. Let's just take a look. There's your onions, mayonnaise, tomato. You see that cheese melting? And some chicken. And some good local pickles. And I can't forget, homemade root beer. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get, but when I saw the broccoli and cheddar soup, I haven't had that for a long time, so I wanted to try it. I know it's it's hot outside, but we are in the shade, so that should help. Now, they do make a lot of their soups, but this one they do not. Look at all the broccoli in there. It looks thick. Very creamy. But like I said before I took a bite, tons of broccoli in there. John thought there was some potatoes. That's what it like, looked like. No, John, it's all broccoli and some of the stems. Very good soup. Now, this is their apple butter that they make, the bacon, cheddar cheese, and it is a multi-grain bread. It's a crispy sandwich. You can see that it's grilled well, it's buttery. John asked me if it was sweet. You get a little bit of the flavor of the apple butter, which tastes very good, but the cheddar, I think, overpowers it, the cheddar cheese. John, you would really like that bacon. Oh, I know. Um, we love that store. We have a video from that place. I'll have to put it up on yes. that. Stolfus Meats, right this there in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. This is a very good sandwich. I would like to have that, a little bit more apple butter, but that's me. And I mean, I know they gave us plenty, me plenty on there, but that tastes so good. I'd like to have a, maybe a spoonful of it by itself. Show them one more look at the bacon on there if we can. If we can get to it without tearing your sandwich apart. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, $8.95? Yeah. Worth it. Take one more look at mine. Let's pull the top off. I'll show you the chicken on this side. There it is. Plenty of mayonnaise on there. Go. Well, that's a pretty good sandwich. Bread's nice and crispy, and being sourdough, it's a little chewy. I love sourdough bread. Chicken's tender. It's a Southwest sandwich, but it's not very spicy, but you can taste the chipotle mayonnaise in there. Get a little bit of that crunch from the onion and the tomato. Good sandwich, guys. I would get this again. Try one of these local pickles. That is so good. That's just like that big pickle I showed you in there. With slices off of that, they chop those up. You get a whole pickle for $1.95 old-fashioned homemade root beer see if I can drink this without getting heartburn stuff gives me heartburn sometimes it's a straw there it goes look at that she said sometimes when you open it it makes a mess she said sometimes the bottles blow up a strong flavor of root beer not a lot of sweetness in here just a lot of root beer flavor Bobby doesn't like it it's a unique flavor you guys gotta try it I don't even know how to describe it to you I do like it, but I couldn't drink it all the time. It's completely different than your normal food beer. I'm going to try Bobby's grilled bacon cheddar sandwich. That bacon looks so good. I can really taste the apple butter in there. Maybe I got a section that had a lot of apple butter spread on there. To me, it's kind of sweet. It blends in well with that bacon. I don't know which one I like better. I might like that one better than this one. I should have made a deal with you, John. I should have said you had to try the broccoli cheddar soup. 
before you got a bite of my sandwich. But maybe you'll give me a slice of one of your pickles. I will. The more I ate the sandwich, I did get a lot of apple butter, so I was wrong. They did put plenty of that on it. It's just a nice sweet flavor. Then you get the saltiness of the uh, bacon and the cheddar cheese. I think it's a mild cheddar cheese too. Well, just for your information on this root beer, here's all the ingredients in it. Water, sugar, root beer, extract, and yeast. I think that's what you're getting a big flavor from is the yeast, strong. Usually gives me heartburn. I can't drink this as much as I used to. Now we just got done eating everything and we're almost full, but we have enough room to go in there and get some desserts. Now all those sweet things you saw in there, those are all made here. I think Bobby touched on the soup. Some of them are made other places. The same with the bread. They make a lot of breads in there. I don't know which ones they make and they don't make, but everything's done locally. They get the produce around this area, the meats, everything, and the pumpkin patch is right out back. If I remember, we will show it to you. That's how they make all their pumpkin flavored items in here. Let's go get some dessert. Now let's take a look at our receipt. Starting off with the Southwest chicken, $10.39. Bobby's meal was $8.95. Fountain drink, $2.79. The bottle of root beer was $2.79. Grand total, $26.42. Now, Oprah Magazine, with the best thing to eat in every state, says that the whoopie pie from here in Ferdinand Bakery and Cafe is worth at least two anywhere else. There's one pumpkin left, but I'm gonna pass on these and I'm gonna get a shoe fly pie. Bobby's up here deciding what she's gonna get. A lot of different choices. Let me see if I can think what she might pick. Well, there's coconut cake, I know she likes that. And there's a carrot cupcake and a carrot cake. I don't know, it's gonna be a hard choice for you, Bobby. I'm guessing you're gonna take this, the cupcake. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, guess you'll surprise everybody. What do you think I'm getting? Shoe fly pie. How'd you know? Well, we decided to come outside here on the second level and eat by these beautiful flowers. Let's see what we got. John went with the shoe fly pie. And I went with the carrot cake. I was wrong. I was sure you were going to get the cupcake. I wasn't sure, but the cake looked better. Maybe because I could see all the raisins and carrots in this. There you can see all the raisins and carrots. They didn't skip on the icing either. Go right there. That was delicious. You have the cream cheese icing. I got some of the nuts and the raisins and the carrots very moist cake and they make these right here on site all right let's try some shoe fly pie that's just the right size that is because that lunch filled me up it says it's a light menu but pretty filling to me okay let's just try it look at all that stuff just crumbling this is a wet shoe fly bottom at this place i'm making a mess you are. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. Gonna get a pretty good piece of this. Well, you can tell that's made fresh here. What stands out in this one is that brown sugar, and it has that cinnamon blended in with it. And you see down in there, it's a wet shoe fly pie. It's very good. Well worth the $2.95 to try. If you guys have never tried shoe fly pie, when you come to this area, you have to. It's a must. And in case you are wondering, you hadn't seen our other videos, the reason this is called shoe fly pie it's because when they put it outside, the flies would just come all over it. And they're going to with all that sugar in there and the corn syrup. Very good. All right, let's take a look at our receipt here for the desserts. The shoe fly pie, $2.95. Bobby slice of cake, $3.65. Grand total, $6.60. The pumpkin patch behind the building that they're going to use to make all those sweet goodies in there that have pumpkin in them. Can't get any fresher than that. Just going out your back door and picking them and baking them up. And also, if you are here in this area before the end of September, you can try out this corn maze. What's this? There's your map. I don't think it'll do you any good inside here, but maybe. Let's see how high this looks. Let's just go back in. Oh, 
Well, you know what? Using that map, I might be able to figure out how to get through here. It's pretty cool. Could be creepy to some of you people. Let's just stop and listen. Hear what it sounds like back in here. Some big ears of corn. Might have to come back here and do this. And this is right next to the cafe, the village petting zoo. There's another bench you can sit on. 25 cents to feed the animals. Cute little playground. Another picnic table in there. And one right back here. You can watch the kids eat and let the kids play. Well, we just got done eating here at the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe. What did you think about it? Of course, this is a busy road out here. It is. It? So you'll hear a lot of traffic noise. I enjoyed my lunch. The soup was very good, even though it was not made here. The sandwich with the bacon and the cheddar cheese and the apple butter, excellent. I was a little bit disappointed at first because I wanted to try their pumpkin pie, but they told us they don't start making that until September and they do use the pumpkins from the field that we saw. But the carrot cake was a good choice. So, John, we're just gonna come back in September so we can try some pumpkin pie. We're gonna have to. And there's a cool corn maze right next to that pumpkin patch. I enjoyed everything I had today, and even though it said light, I was full. And after you get done eating, you can try all these bakery items that they make right here. Shoe fly pies, all kind of goodies, whoopie pies, plenty of donuts. We came in here earlier today and this place was packed. Right now it's not too bad, around 11 o'clock. This is a Monday, so this place is busy too because a lot of places are still closed here in this town. They're closed on Sunday and Monday. So it's another option to go to when you're in Amish country. Skip that fast food, come to some place that makes it fresh. So I did enjoy our visit here. And maybe this evening, if we have time, we'll have to slip back in here and try some of this homemade ice cream. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.